Thanks so much. You know, a busy week in Fort Smith for the governor and the delegation members as well, doing a flyover of the devastation along the Arkansas River in Fort Smith. We're so glad to have Senator John Bozeman here, along with A.J. Gary with the Arkansas Department of Emergency Management. Both of you guys were on that flyover, so tell me a little bit about what you saw. And gosh, I can imagine just, uh, just so much happening and people having to leave their homes. We saw a mass of water and, and as you say, lots of devastation yeah. and with more to come. And so the governor's doing a great job of getting us all organized. He's got a great team assembled. But there's simply no substitute for actually being out there and, and looking at it firsthand. And then uh, your reaction on the president actually granting that request for FEMA funds to be helping out here in Arkansas. No, we're very excited about that. This is the first step. This gives us money immediately mm -hmm. uh, for public safety, uh, things like that, to protect property. And then we look forward to working hard to, to get further declarations as we go further. Yeah. AJ, over at ADEM, you guys prepare for stuff like this. So tell me a little bit about just the importance of coordination between the county and the state. Sure. And again, like you said, we start uh, preparing for these types of events long before they happen. Yeah. It's a continuous effort. Uh, we do training and exercise with, uh, with all the counties. Every county has an emergency manager in that county that works for that county. So we're, we're doing training, we're doing exercises, and then when an event happens, everybody pretty well knows what to do. So uh, at Adam, our main focus is to coordinate those resources. So we're there, we actually activated the Emergency Operations Center on Saturday, mm -hmm. and uh, as calls started coming in from uh, the, the counties and that, we were able to respond. And we have all our state agencies as part of that EOC. They're the emergency support functions. So they're the helping us get those resources out to the counties. You know, we look at these pictures, you guys saw it in person. It's just um, it, historic flooding. We have never seen anything like this in such a long time. So how was the response? I mean, was this something you're like, okay, we got to do this, do that? Um, was it just a surprise? Well, um, again, on this type of event, we have a little bit of notice. So we started, okay. um, you know, last week, um, actually working up, getting prepared for it. We knew it was coming. It's, you know, so we've had Absolutely. a few days. So we had everything kind of in place so that we could coordinate those resources. And we also have our federal partners that have been in the EOC with mm -hmm. us. It's great to see those resources coming. And what's next? <clears throat> well, the important thing is to keep the coordination. And so mm -hmm. the federal component, myself, the rest of the delegation working hard to make sure that, that, that they're coordinated with the state locals. You mentioned earlier, you hadn't seen this in a long time. We've never seen this. Right, <laughs> so exactly, this weird because we're breaking those levels. uncharted yeah. water, waters, which is, is really amazing. Yeah, anything yeah. else that people uh, need to know this morning? I think, you know, very importantly, and this is the expert on that, is that people need to listen to their local officials, their yes. state yes. officials regarding uh, warnings. Uh, when it's time to clear out, they need to clear out. Yeah, this is a this is a huge event. It's it moves quickly, and we really need people if they're anywhere near that near that river to listen to those mm -hmm. warnings from their local authorities. The local yeah. authorities are watching the levees really closely. Yeah, take this very seriously. Absolutely. All right, thank you so much for joining us thank this morning, and we you. appreciate your efforts and, and helping our Kansans. All right, we're going to send it off to break, and uh, DJ has more on the.